Welcome to Maths with EJD. In this video, we are talking about the divisibility of 7 raised to the 2n plus 1 plus 1 by 8 for n greater than or equal to 0. So here, the claim is about that expression being divisible by 8. So the claim here is this. Um... 7 raised to power 2n plus 1 up there plus 1 down here is, is an integer multiple, is an integer multiple of 8 for all n greater than or equal to 0. You have to take note of this. It's all n greater than or equal to 0, not at all n greater than or equal to 1 this time around. So that's very important to take note of. So 7 raised to power 2n plus 1 up plus 1 down is an integer multiple of 8 for all n greater than or equal to 0. That's the claim. All right. So let's go for the base step. At the base step, see what we have. Base step. So, you know, the base step talks about using the smallest possible values to testing the smallest possible values to see if it's actually true. So, and the smallest value in this case is n equals zero, you know? So at n equals zero now, we know we have seven raised to power two into zero, seven raised to power two into zero plus one plus one. And that is seven raised to power zero plus, well, two times zero is zero, then plus one plus one. And that is seven plus one. And that is actually eight. And 8 is 8 times 1, right? So the claim is true for n is 0. So I like to take it further and say n equals 1 because we are talking about n greater than or equal to 0. So we've done n is 0. Now we are doing n greater than 0. So we have 7 raised to power 2, 1 plus 1 plus 1 down here. So that's 7 raised to power 2 plus 1. That's 3 plus 1. So that is 7 raised to power 3 is 7 times 7, 49. 49 times 7, I think that's 3, 4, 3. So that's 3, 4, 3 plus 1. And that is 3, 48. Sorry, 3, 44. So 3, 44, right? 3, 44 is 8 times something, I guess. So 8 in 34 is 4, yes. Then 8 in 24 is 3. So uh, you see that 3, 44 is 8 times 43. So you can say, therefore, the claim... The claim is true. The claim is true for, for the base step, for the base step. The claim is true for the base step. Okay. So let's move on to talk about uh, all the steps. Okay, let me go black now. So let's talk about the inductive hypothesis, inductive hypothesis. This is where we assume the, the claim is true for n equals k. So we assume, assume the claim, the claim is true. The claim is true for n equals k. So if you assume that, what happens is that you have 7 raised to power 2k plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 8 times anything, maybe 8 times r. Where, where r, where r is an integer. Where r is an integer like that. So having done that, then we move on to the inductive step. The inductive step for the last fight or the final showdown. The inductive step. So we want to prove, we want to prove that the claim, that the claim is true. The claim is true for n equals k plus 1. So that's what we have to prove next. And then that means we have uh, 7 raised to power 2. Wherever you have k, here you have k plus 1. Then plus the, the one that was there before. Then plus the one down here. Okay. So and that is equal to 7 raised to power 2k plus 2 plus 1. And then plus this one down here. Now one thing you can do is the 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 inductive hypothesis is always very useful uh, at the stage of the 
inductive for the for the inductive step right so and one thing that will happen is you know this is already seven raised to the power two k plus one so if you can isolate seven raised to the power two k plus one or seven raised to the power two k plus one plus one either way is fine but it's easier to isolate seven raised to the power two k plus one and you can see that here you have seven raised to the power two k plus one so that means that you have so you have seven raised to the power two multiplied by seven raised to the power two k plus one so this seven raised to the power two here you can bring it out so you can have seven raised to the power two k plus one so isolated here plus one and that is seven raised to the power two is 49 right so that's like 49 into seven raised to the power two k plus one then plus this other one and what is seven raised to the power two k plus one so you can make this the subject here so you have seven raised to the power two k plus one here seven raised to the power two k plus one is the same thing as eight r minus one so transfer the one here so this now can be useful at the inductive step so you can replace this with 8r minus 1 so we have 49 into 8r minus 1 plus 1 all right so that is 49 into 8r minus 49 times and that's 49 plus 1 so that is 49 into 8r minus 48 i believe yeah minus 49 plus 1 is minus 48 so you can see 8 is common so you can take out 8 8 into 49 r minus 6 so you can see that 8 so you can see that that expression is an in, is an integer multiple of 8 right as as expected so it is an integer multiple of 8 so you can say again like you, you said at the base step that the claim you say the, therefore the claim the claim is true is true for n equals k plus one or you can say the claim is true for the inductive step so you can now reach a conclusion then you conclude that therefore the claim the claim is true is true for for all n greater than or equal to zero that's all we're given since since it is true since it is true for the base step and the inductive step and the inductive step so that goes um so i mean with this we have concluded the the issue and then you want to subscribe if you have not done that already. Hit the notification bell so you can always get alerted when a new video is released. Then like, share, comment. Comment if you want a problem solved or if you have a question or you want me to treat a topic. Share with people that may need it because I know a lot of people will really benefit from this. See you in the next video.